Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to use Python console integrated in Dragonfly software. For demonstration, in the end we are going to do non-local means image filtering using this console. Okay, first let me explain some of the important features of this console. It's always easy to execute commands. So it's the fastest way to test a piece of code. The next feature is tab or command line completion. So it automatically fills the partially filled commands using the tab key. Okay. So next is command history access. So we could have access to the commands which have entered earlier using the up and down arrow key. So the next is drag and drop functionality. So drag and drop functionality is basically for adding channels. We could see this later in the demonstration. Okay. So and the last feature is selectable font sizes. This is of course for better readability. Okay. So next let's go to the software. Okay. So here is the main panel of the Dragonfly software. Um, as you see here, I have already imported a noisy data for the demonstration. If you don't have a data yet, so you can just go to file and you can use the import image files and you can import the data as you like. If you want to know more about this data set, please see the description below. Okay. It's a noisy data. I'm going to denoise this image using a non-local means filter. Uh, and of course, using uh, this console. Okay. So first let me tell you how to go to this console. Go to the top uh, menu. You will see utilities and go to this utilities menu. Uh, it's a Python console over there. Okay. You When you click on this, you will end up seeing a black window. So this panel has like, uh, you can adopt this panel just by clicking here. And you can also maximize the screen. You can maximize it. You can, and as I said, it's of course it's selectable. You have selectable font sizes, so you can increase the font size just by using the plus sign and minus just to decrease the font size. Okay. First, what I'm going to do is here I need a data. I'm going to write a piece of code in this console to de for denoising this noisy data first let me, I should have access to this data so what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is the feature that we learned so it's a drag here just to add this channel so once you drag this you will see a ORS object file uh, so here I'm going to assign this to a variable called data Okay, so now this data is in the form of ORS objects. So next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this ORS object to a NumPy array. So data array, let me, I'm, let's use this variable data array. So data dot use the attribute get nd, you can use the tab key to complete this attribute and then get enter okay so this data array it's in the form of now numpy array and you can just see this data type here data array use the tab key data array dot d type can use tab key so it's in the form of unsigned integer okay Next is I'm going to import the denoise non-local means function like from the scikit image library. So if you go to scikit image, when you google it, you will see scikit non-local means. You will see this documentation. If you read this, you will know more about the um, denoise non-local means filter. Okay, so here from scikit image, the like the denoise non-local means method is in 
psychic image restoration so i'm going to import the same thing here so from psychic image dot restoration restoration import import what we need D noise non local means so the first is D noise bilateral so D noise non local in addition we need also estimate sigma okay and the next thing we have to con this the data array is in the form of integer so for uh, processing this for denoising this we need the data is in the form of float so let me use the numpy package so for that i need to import this numpy pa package to convert this unsigned integer to a float data type okay so data array floats okay float which equals so what we have to do is use the numpy package np dot float 32 float 32 of what the data data array okay so now this data type data is in the form of float data type if you want you can just check with this command dot d type so now this is in the form of float data type okay so next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to estimate this sigma value using this function estimate sigma so sig equals numpy dot you can refer to the scikit image documentation uh, like uh, for more explanations so i'm gonna use the same here estimate sigma of so the float are um, the data which is in the form of float and then comma there is another parameter which is multi-channel i'm gonna assign this as true okay double bracket enter so this gives you the sigma value you can just enter and see this is the sigma value okay so and the next thing once we estimate the sigma value we have to use this denoise function to get the denoised data so denoise equal denoise non-local means of our data which is in the form of float comma there is a parameter we have to feed which is h that is one point i'm going to use 1.5 times of my sigma value and then there is a, another parameter fast mode for fast processing which is true and then for multi-channel that's also true okay and then enter it takes few seconds to finish so let's wait it's processing you will see the blue circle here once it's done it goes to the next line 33 so now it's processing okay uh, yeah now it's done okay so you will see it's in it goes to line 33 so now it's done so in our hand now we have our denoised data so we have to visualize this how it looks right so first thing i'm gonna use this like from for that for from ors model okay from ors model because this data is in the form of now this den is the denoised data is in the form of numpy array okay next thing we are going to trying to convert this numpy array to a channel to publish this data in the ui okay so for that from our ors model i am going to import a method called create 
channel from numpy array okay so what we are going to do is we are trying to create a channel from the numpy array so i'm going to use a method called create channel from numpy array okay and then enter so now i'm going to enter a command which is denoised channel okay denoised channel which is what create numpy create channel from numpy array of my numpy data okay so this is my numpy array so we are trying to create channel from numpy array okay and then enter and then if you want you can just set title for this otherwise it will take the default title so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set a title uh, use the tab to give set title and then this is called auto tab completion tab completion set title i'm going to give here denoised data okay close the bracket enter now we gave the title we set title for our channel and if one last thing we have to do is we have to publish this channel okay for that denoised data sorry denoised channel dot publish is the command publish once you enter you could see this in the data properties panel okay now you can just undock it dock it okay it when okay, i can just close this okay so now we have a noisy data and we have a denoised data in the panel so this helps you to visualize this how our denoised data look like so let me go here under layout okay under layout you have a two scene mode the second one is two scene mode so you can uh, watch like uh, two scenes in parallel okay so what we are seeing in this scene is our noisy data this is what we see and in the second scene i'm going to enable my denoised data do you see the difference so this is our noisy data and here is our denoised data okay if you want to visualize this in 3d go to right click and give 3d okay so this is noisy data in 3d and this is the denoised data in 3d so make sure you enable this so you will see this denoised data in 3d okay if you want you can just give color maps go to window leveling and make sure you select this data i'm gonna give blue red uh, okay blue uh, green red for both of this so this is for noisy data and go to denoise make sure you select the scene and then give blue red green red as you see so this is our noisy so uh, most of the features are hidden so as you see here it's more visible so that's it thank you for listening